What's up, guys? How you doing? So we're going to answer some Reddit questions today. If you have any questions that you want me to give my take on uh, with my experience that I've had in lifting, in training, in competing in powerlifting, and strongman, and training with Ron Partlow, um, IFBB Pro, and learning from my own mistakes, being a skinny little kid and growing to be bigger, stronger. Um, we're going to answer some Reddit questions, and if you have any questions yourself, leave them in the comments, and hopefully I can do like a video response to it. But yeah, and in tandem with the vlogs and stuff, I'd love to actually just like do sit down videos like this, which is something I've done on the channel long ago. So training hard versus training moderate effort. Now we're going to get into it and we're going to read some of the comments, but it's really not that easy. It's not that simple. You can go to the gym, you can train extremely hard, uh, what, four days a week, five days a week, whatever, seven days a week. You can do moderate effort seven days a week. None of it's going to matter if you're not eating right, if you're not sleeping right, and if you have high stress. So this guy says, many people say training all out maximum effort every set for naturals does not yield better gains versus training just RPE eight to nine each set. RPE 8 to 9 is still pretty intense. For those who don't know what RPE is, essentially it's, it's a rating scale. 0 to 10. 0 is like super easy. 10 is extremely difficult. It's a rating scale for how difficult the set was for you. So RPE 8 to 9 is like, that's a very difficult set. You know, <clears throat> at the end of it, you're really struggling. I would say you could probably do just three reps of a heavy weight there at that point. So, or... It's extremely difficult to get through it, whatever it is. Now, I truly believe, you know, and I've, I've trained in powerlifting, I'm training in strongman, and I've gotten a general sense of extremely hard training. I've had Dan Green coach me. I've had Eric Lillybridge coach me. And I can truly say that training hard is the way to go. When it comes to building muscle, natty or not, look, I was natty until I was about almost 31. And I would still even, I wouldn't even say I'm not natty at this point. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm not natty, but TRT at 200 milligrams a week, it puts me at 34 nanograms per deciliter, just about after I'd say like a couple days of not shooting up. And that is like, you know, a little over, that's like what our grandparents used to be at, like a very high range. So yeah, it puts me a little over the normal spectrum, I guess. But I'm... Now I feel great. I feel amazing. I don't have any of the side effects of low test. And my hormones are regulated by a doctor. And it feels awesome. You can figure that out yourselves if you, that's your, your thing. But look, I truly feel that whether you're natural, and I trained as a natural my entire life, and I achieved great things in the gym. I got a good physique, except for when I was fat as a powerlifter. But when I trimmed down after that, I looked good. And I can truly say I know what it feels like to train Natty for at least 30 years of my life and to compete as a natural for 30 years of my life. So with powerlifting, I would say it's, it's kind of cool because you go in and you do like, you modulate, you mo you're modulating your workout. You go in you, for a squat workout, for a leg workout, you're doing the compound lifts, whatever it might be. You do your squats. Let's say you do three sets of five to seven reps at, I don't know, 80% of 75, 70% of your max. Then you drop it down, you do some pause squats at, I don't know, 50% of your max for 10 reps, okay, eight to 10 reps, let's say three sets. Then you go and you do some leg press. We go high rep. We do, I remember Eric Lillybridge had me doing, it was like, like five sets of 15 to 20. Then we were doing leg extensions. Then we're doing leg curls. Then there were some calves in there. And then on other days, we were doing other accessory stuff after you do your compound. So it's like you have in the beginning, you, you regulate the workout where you do the extremely difficult shit first, like the compound movements with the barbell, which could be an RPE 7 to 9, 8 to 9, which just means it's very difficult. And then after that, you taper it down and you go so moderate. So maybe like 5 to 7, 4 to 6. And you go higher in the rep range. And I know Michael Hearn calls that more so power bodybuilding. And you can do that. So I really do feel that training hard. You don't, you know, I remember Ernie Lee Libridge Jr. He's my bro over like 10 years now. 
He's been giving me advice too when it comes to benching and shit because my bench sucks. That if he, I think he was just training like three days a week. Sometimes you don't need much more than that. I think Eric only had me training four days a week. You go in, squat, bench, deadlift, and then you do one accessory day on the weekend. And that was just like a bodybuilding day, kind of like a, a junk day. Like you do arms and shoulders, just get blood into the muscle. Right? High rep shit, lightweight. And I found that to be the most useful when it came to gaining muscle and size. Now, none of this is going to matter at all if you're not eating right, you're not sleeping right, and if you have high as fuck stress. So, make sure you get all those under control. Eating enough protein, have your carbs, and that's it. Go into the gym, train hard, but don't have to go balls to the wall every single set. Right? In the beginning, the hard stuff, you want to get that out of the way. You want to train hard, train tight. And by tight, I mean, you know, don't be loosey-goosey and get injured. Do it right. Don't live with your ego. And then go on to the more so higher rep, lighter stuff, which will be more so moderate, I would say. So it's not like RPE 8 to 9 all the way through your whole workout. You're, you're modulating everything. Up, down. Some of it's high, some, some of it's low. Some of it's heavy, some, some of it's light. Low rep, high rep. So with that, you will build an amazingly good physique. Combine that with good sleep and good eating. Man, you're going to look great. You're going to look great, feel great, and you're going to have a great life. So that's all I got to say about that. Training hard versus moderate effort versus training moderate effort. Because, yeah, you could do moderate seven days a week, but I just don't feel like it builds the same physique. I really think that, like, that hard, grainy, dense look comes from more so, like, training four days a week, training heavy and hard, and then incorporating some accessory shit at the end at a higher rep. Get in, get out of the gym kind of thing. Hour and a half, good to go, done. Now, Dorian Yates would say you know, train 45 minutes, but no one trains at that intensity because he, he was an animal, right? It was different. There's only one Dorian Yates out there. That's what I think about that. 5.22 in the morning, I'm going to take my own advice. I'm going to go to sleep and probably wake up at like 2. Have a great day. See you guys later.